you guys welcome back to our channel so this is how we rock and it's laundry day today for mommy i did promise you this video i promised you i was gonna show you a little bit of my laundry routine the products that i use and what it's like for me to do the laundry for a family of seven so you guys keep in mind that i try to do the laundry every other day whenever it's possible obviously and i try to stay on top of my laundry so it doesn't become this ginormous chore for me to take over uh, also, uh, the system that I use is very basic because if you've been following my Simplify My Space series, you know that that's exactly what I'm trying to achieve in every area of my life and in my house. That goes for my laundry routine too. Alright you guys, so this is the first time that I'm tackling laundry uh, in this amazing, bright and clean uh, <laughs> inspiring room. And if you haven't watched the reno for this room that we just posted a couple of days ago, I'm gonna link it down below because you definitely wanna go check out the video and see what this room really used to look like. Alrighty, let's get started by picking up my little darkling's clothes from the closet. They each have their own basket where they know that they need to dump the dirty clothes at the end of the day. And since we've been using this system, it's been so much easier for me and for them to just get changed again to the PJs at night time. So if you want to see how I organize the clothes, I have a whole dedicated video on that and I will have a link down below if you want to check it out. So what I did is I grabbed my big basket, this way it's easier for me to go around the house and pick up uh, the rest of the clothes that I might have been left, for example, in the bathrooms. So here we are back in the laundry. As I said before, I want to have a very minimal space and system, so one basket does just fine. Next thing I do is sorting out the pile of clothes in three categories, whites, darks and colors. And I start by loading up the ones that I have the most of and the rest of the clothes just stays there and waits for its turn. I do have my towels that I wash once or twice a week and also my bed sheets. Now, if between the washes, some of the items need to be treated right away, what I do is that I put those clothes into my basket right here that I'm gonna go ahead and fill up with warm water and baking soda and vinegar, or if necessary, I'm gonna treat them with peroxide. Because once the stain dries, it'll be almost impossible to remove. Now, let's get into my laundry products I use, and I specifically use eco-friendly detergents. I love this one in particular, and I will have a link down below if you like to get the same one. And by the way, I will have a list of all these things that I've been mentioning and showing in this video. So it's easier for you to go and check out. It'll be in the description box down below. I also like to add vinegar to the washing cycle to soften and brighten and also disinfect the clothes. It's a great uh, eco-friendly alternative to fabric conditioner. Uh, the smell doesn't stick to the clothes and it really works great. And by the way, I use vinegar to clean anything in my house. I go ahead and fold my laundry while my kids do their homeworks so I can oversee the work. And uh, once they're done with that, uh, they have their own baskets that once again they're going to pick up and take to the closet and put the clothes back into the drawers where they belong. Alright you guys, so now that the washing cycle is done, it's time for me to dry my clothes. And uh, let me tell you guys, it's very rare for me to use my dryer. What I use instead is my drying rack right here. It fits perfectly right between uh, uh, my washing machine and my dryer. So uh, I do use my dryer, obviously, just in case it's rainy outside or I need something in a pinch. So I do go ahead and use it. But I try to stay away from that and uh, use my drying rack. So let's go ahead and put it up. Alrighty, got it right here. And that's what I hang my clothes. I try not to expose my clothes to the direct sunlight so they don't get uh, ruined, especially where we live, the sun is really, really hot. So, there you go. Okay guys, so let's say for instance, I wanna go ahead and use my dryer. Let me show you what I do. And right here on the shelf, I have my wool balls. And these ones are a great alternative to uh, those full of chemicals and really bad for the environment anyways drying sheets 
So what these balls do, they cut down on the drying time, uh, they are eco-friendly and uh, I go ahead and I have my essential oil in here and what I do is that I just put a couple of drops so they also make your clothes smell nice. There you go and stick them in the dryer to get with my clothes and this is what I do when I use my dryer so not drying sheets. As I was ready to close the video and I forgot to show you where my ironing board is so it's right behind the door of my laundry and as you can see I have everything fitted in here that's what I hang my broom and a dustpan and then here's the shelf with my products my washing machine and dryer right here and then my drying rack is here sorry about the noise and then here's my steamer that I use for a floor. So everything fits in here in this tiny room. <laughs> All right then my friends, so this is it for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.